Kenji and a job. Always knew someday you'd come walking back through my door. My heroes have always been archaeologists. And Indiana Jones is probably my favorite of them all, because that's the only one I can think of. So let's talk about Indiana Jones. Is he the greatest archaeologist of all times? Yes, he is. But he was also a pervert that liked little girls? Well, according to George Lucas, and maybe the movie, maybe so. We all know Indiana Jones was in love with Marion Ravenwood, and they hadn't seen each other in a long time by the events of Raiders of the Lost Ark. But how old was Marion when their love affair began? That might shock some of you fans of Indiana Jones, unless maybe you're Jerry Lee Lewis. Then it might excite you some. Now, before we get into all that, I want to give a big shout out to the Rad Toy House in Nashville. They sent me over this shirt, and I don't know if you remember or not, but I did a Nashville video, a Hunting for Star Wars video, when I went there to check out their shop, and they got a lot of 90s toys, vintage toys from the 80s, mostly 80s and 90s, but they got some current stuff also, really good stuff, and I wish I filmed more in that store, but... It was one of those I didn't even know about this store to riding around Nashville, and I just happened to run up on it and say, hey, let me go check this out. So it's probably the best thing I saw in Nashville. And if I wanted to give one more shout out to them, they sent me over this shirt right here. Uh, this isn't a paid advertisement or anything like that. So if you find yourself in Nashville, head over to the Totally Rad Toy House. Believe me, I think you're going to enjoy it. And if you haven't seen my Hunting for Star Wars episode where I go to that toy shop and check it out, Please do. And as always, please support the channel over at Patreon.com. Blah, 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 blah. You got some glucose stuff and all that. You know all that. And you can go to thatjumpman.com and buy some cool t-shirts. Can't buy this one there. Have to go to the toy house in Nashville for that one. But thatjumpman.com to buy some cool t-shirts, buttons, mugs, all kinds of things. We even had this mug right here. Look at this. Any kid that grew up with bootleg carrying cases in the 80s knows what this mug is. It's a very good mug. So we'll put that down right there. And we'll get back to talking about if Indiana Jones is a pervert or not. Let's go. Before we set all that up, let's go back to 1980 and look at Raiders of the Lost Ark. There was something I never placed in this scene before, is the age of Marion. Now we know in the film, Marion is in her early 20s and Indiana Jones is probably in his early 30s. There's really no years given, but they do talk about how they had a relationship long before the film. If Marion is, let's say, 24, 25, how long ago was it when Indiana Jones was working under her father, Abner Ravenwood? How old was she? 18? 17? Younger than that? Before we hear from George Lucas and Steven Spielberg on that, let's go back to that scene from Raiders of Lost Ark so you can kind of refresh your memory about their past relationship. Here goes. I learned to hate you in the last 10 years. I never meant to hurt you. I was a child. I was in love. It was wrong and you knew it. You knew what you were doing. On January 23rd, 1978, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and Lawrence Kasdan sat down to start working on Raiders of the Lost Ark. This was their story conference where they was going over the story for the film, what would happen, what it would be about, and all that. The topic goes into how Indiana Jones has to travel to Nepal to see Marion Ravenwood, the daughter of his mentor, Abner Ravenwood. There she has a medallion. We all know it becomes the headpiece of the Staff of Ra. The three creators of the film start talking about how they needed to have some tension between Marion and Indiana Jones, that they had some kind of history there. And it's George Lucas that finally brings up an age. He says that during the time Indiana Jones was a mentor for her father, Marion was 11 years old. Yes, George Lucas said 11 years old. His exact quote was, he could have known this little girl when she was a kid, had an affair with her when she was 11. And he goes on to say that when they meet up again for Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's been 12 years since their relationship. He then jokingly adds, it's a really strange relationship. I don't know if I would call that a relationship, George, but anyway. Then Spielberg chimes in to tell Lucas, Marion better be older than that. Lucas then comes back that at the time of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones is 35. And that when he met Marion, he was 25 and she was 12. 
So we see Lucas has finally moved up the age from being an 11-year-old girl that has an affair with Indiana Jones to a girl that's 12. I guess moving up her age by one year was to satisfy Spielberg. Lucas adds that it would be amusing to make Marion so young. What George Lucas finds amusing is not what most of us find amusing, I guess. And this is when Spielberg chimes in that he wanted to make Marion the pursuer of the relationship. That she was the type of girl, or I guess in this case, the type of 12-year-old, that was already pursuing older men. And, in Spielberg's words, she came on to Indiana Jones. Now, Lucas does talk about moving her age up from 12. So he went to 11 to 12, and now he's saying maybe, at the most, she was 15. He does say that he knows it's an outrageous idea, but, as he says, it's interesting. And that once she turns 16 or 17, it's not really interesting anymore. If she was 15 and he was 25 and they actually had a love affair, then Lucas goes on to talk about how Marion was madly in love with Indiana Jones. That's when Spielberg interrupts to say she even had pictures of Indiana Jones. I hope they were G-rated pictures. According to George Lucas, Marion never got over her love or the hurt caused by Indiana Jones. This brings up tension when they meet again in Nepal, where Lucas says Marion has been living since she was 18. According to Lucas, Indiana Jones just kind of wanted to forget about the whole relationship thing and hope it didn't come up. But Marion is still holding a grudge and still in love. It's a lot of ammunition to fight with, Lucas says. But Lucas does say this is something they don't want to address too much in the film that he kind of want the audience to take it in later and when they think about the relationship. But he said you could throw in a line where Marion says to Indy, I was jailbait the last time we were together. Ooh, that just sounds creepy. He says the age will never come up, but when they cast the role, they're going to look for someone that's about 23 years old. And at this time, Harrison Ford wasn't even attached to the film. So Lucas said they needed someone about 35. So we can see the ages that we're playing with here. They haven't seen each other in about 10 years. In the worst case scenario, Marion was 11 when she had an affair with Indiana Jones. And I guess, if you can call it a best scenario, she was 15 at the oldest when her and Indiana Jones hooked up. Although they're not talking about how Marion's father felt about all this, I would be kind of curious what he thought about his early teenage daughter hooking up with Indiana Jones. So, how old is Marion in the canon of Indiana Jones? Well, Indiana Jones isn't like Star Wars where you have such a rich history of the canon, so who's to say really? But in the script for Raiders of Lost Ark, it does state that she's 15 years old. But we can look at an official Indiana Jones guide that makes the age canon, but it was released in 2008. In the Ultimate Guide to Indiana Jones, released around the time of Crystal Skull, they changed Marion's age. According to that guidebook, she was born in 1909, making her 27 at the time of Raiders of the Lost Ark, which would make her about 17, maybe pushing 18, when she had a relationship with Indy. So I guess the official canon, at least now, is that she was around 17, almost 18, when she hooked up with Indiana Jones. But again, that was 2008. It's clear that, at least in Lucas's mind, and I guess Steven Spielberg's mind and Lawrence Kasdan's mind, Marion was closer to 15. But, at one point, Lucas wanted to make her 11 or 12. I tell you, Raiders of Lost Ark is one of my favorite films of all time. I think it's perfect. And when you kind of pay attention to her line in Raiders of Lost Ark, when she says that she was a child, it was wrong, and Indy knew it, kind of makes you see the whole thing in a different light. And I will say that Indiana Jones takes place at a different time. And it seems like around the 1920s, it wasn't very uncommon for girls about 14 or 15 to even get married to adult men. As crazy as that sounds, I mean, what would you have in common with a 14-year-old girl? I mean, she probably plays with Barbie dolls and you still play with action figures. I mean, come on, that's like putting peanut butter on a carrot. <sighs> anyway, I thought you guys might like to get a kick out of this. In the description below, I'm going to put a link to the whole transcript of Lucas, Kasdan, and Spielberg talking about their plans for Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a great read. This is just one small part of it, and I think if you're an Indiana Jones fan and haven't read it, you really enjoy it. Well, tell me in the comments below, do you see Indiana Jones in a different light now? When you watch Raiders, will it just stick in your head more that, hey, Marion was a 15-year-old girl and Indy was about 25? Sounds crazy. I want to thank you for watching. Please thumb up my video, even if you hate it. It's fun. Do it. Trust me. And please, subscribe to the channel. Fred, take us out of here. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. Ha! 
See you tomorrow, Indiana Jones.